Greetings and welcome to the Fan Perspective. I'm your host Nathan Lyle here with my continuing coverage of the 2015 NBA Playoffs. Here to recap the second round matchup between the Western Conference teams, the number two seed Houston Rockets and the number three seed Los Angeles Clippers. Game one, Chris Paul sat out with a hamstring injury that he suffered in the previous series. But the Clippers, they played well enough to keep the game within reach. But Houston was in control throughout much of the first half, took a four point lead into halftime. The Clippers, though, they started hitting three and they head into the fourth quarter with a six-point lead which they expanded to 13 and even though both coaches said that they wouldn't do the hack shack technique they both did it and in a game where both teams turned the ball over 20 plus times and the Clippers had six players in double figures including a double-double from DeAndre Jordan and a triple-double from Blake Griffin his third of the playoffs the Clippers still game one winning it 117 to 101 then in Game 2, Chris Paul sits out again, and the Clippers, they go out to a decent lead, but then they get in some foul trouble, and the Rockets were in control, taking an 11-point lead into the second quarter. The Clippers, they fought back. They were able to take a lead on a 12-0 run, and in that quarter, they shot over 70%, and they end up taking a 9-point lead into halftime, thanks to 26 points from Blake Griffin. And then a minute and a half into the third quarter, James Harden picks up his fourth foul and he sits. And Dwight Howard, he picked up his fourth a few minutes later, but he ends up staying in the game a little bit longer. And despite everything that went wrong, Houston was still only down by two points at the end of the third quarter. And CP3's absence was really felt in this game because the Clippers, they were just horrible on offense the entire second half. They were just never really got it going. The Rockets, they end up with six players in double figures, including double-doubles from Howard and Ariza as they win game two 115 to 109 evening things up then in game three the series goes back to LA CP3 returns to the starting lineup and he makes an immediate impact on their first eight buckets he made two of them and assisted on five of them and so yeah their bench is played well as well the other reserves came in and had a great performance so even with Chris and Blake both on the bench the Clippers were still able to extend the lead and they were leading by double figures for much of the second quarter. And they started hacking in order to preserve their lead. It kind of worked. Uh, the Clippers go into halftime up by seven. You know, the Rockets, they come out strong in the third quarter. They close the gap. But then the Clippers, they start breaking away again, finishing the quarter on an 18-0 run, leading by 23 points. And then in the fourth quarter, they end up extending that lead to 32 points. Clippers had five players in double figures, including yet another double-double from Blake Griffin, as the Clippers win in Game 3, 124-99. Then in Game 4, the Rockets, they started off well, taking an early lead, but then four minutes into the game, Dwight Howard had two personal fouls and one technical. And since the Rockets were already in the bonus anyways, they started hacking DJ in what ended up being the longest first quarter ever. But even though DJ was missing a ton of free throws, the Rockets didn't really take advantage. They only have a three-point lead after the first quarter. So they hacked him some more in the second quarter, and it continued to not work. Jordan was 10 of 28 from the free throw line in the first half, and yet the Clippers still go into the halftime break with a six-point lead. And in the third quarter, the Clippers were able to build up a 28-point lead. Now they are, and they already had five players in double figures, two of them with double-doubles, as they head into the fourth quarter already with a 24-point lead. And the Rockets just... They never really got close, you know. And for the first time in the 2015 playoffs, Blake Griffin does not have a double-double. And the, But the Clippers have their biggest win of the season, winning Game 4, 128-95, to taking a 3-1 lead on the series. Then in Game 5, the Rockets, you know, they go back to Houston, facing elimination, and they play like it. They were in control the, most of the first half, taking a 15-point lead in, at, into halftime. Then the Clippers tried to fight back in the second half, but they just could never really close that gap. Rockets finished the game with six players in double figures, led by a double-double from Dwight Howard and a triple-double by James Harden, who is playing through the flu. And the Rockets end up winning Game 5, 124-103, keeping the series alive at least one more game. Then in Game 6, the Clippers, they, looked, they were in complete control from the opening tip, and they looked like it would be just a dominating night and they would close out the game. But the Rockets kept themselves in the game, even managed to take a small lead in the second quarter, and the stars were shining as both Griffin and Harden scored over 20 points in the first half. And then in the second half, the Clippers came out in the second half, completely dominated in the third quarter, until 
if you if you watch this game, you know what happened. Until the Rockets, you know, they started fighting back, and in the fourth quarter, despite James Harden sitting on the bench, they were able to take the lead. They went from a 19-point deficit in the third quarter to a 10-point lead in the fourth quarter. All the while, MVP Eagle and the rap James Harden was sitting on the bench. And the Rockets, they finished the game with six players in double figures, including a 20-point, 20 20-rebound 20 game from Dwight Howard as Houston forces a decisive Game 7, winning 119-107. to then we move on to Game 7, We're back in Houston for the series finale. Either way, somebody's going home tonight. And both teams struggled to hang on to the ball, compiling for 15 turnovers in the first quarter alone. And thanks to a 12-point effort from James Harden, the Rockets had a 7-point lead after the first quarter. Harden didn't make a single shot in the second quarter, but the Rockets continued to dominate heading into halftime with a 10-point lead. Then they continued showing their dominance throughout the third quarter, ending it with a 17-point lead. And the game looked like it was over, but late in the fourth, the Clippers, they found some life. They cut into the deficit, never got closer than eight points. The Rockets had five players in double figures, including a double-double from Howard, and James Harden was flirting with a triple-double as the Rockets win 113-100, to advancing to the Western Conference Finals where they will meet the number one seed Golden State Warriors. And wow, I mean, congratulations to the Rockets because they fought hard. They deserved the win, but just wow, what happened to the Clippers? I mean, I, I, I'm not a, a Magic Johnson. I don't like agreeing with the Lakers. Just I, they're my least favorite franchise. But he said something on Twitter. He was like, you know, we th after looking at at you know Game Seven against the Spurs, you thought that the Clippers had learned how to win. And then we find out that, nope, they're still the Clippers. And that was my ex the exact thoughts watching that this happen. I mean, they just fell apart. They had this in the bag. They had a stranglehold on the series. And they just gave it away, especially the game six. They should have won that. But I don't know, man. They just It looks like they just choked. I mean, all credit to the Rockets because at any point in this series, they could have easily just said, you know what? We're done for. They, they, you know, they've already got a huge advantage. We don't stand a chance. They could have just packed up, packed up their bags, headed home. You know, just rolled over, let the let the Clippers kick them some. But no, they kept fighting through it. They were able to grab one win, which led to a second, which you know it, they kept the door open. And so, you know, congratulations to them. They deserve to win. They deserve to advance. But as much as this was a win for the Rockets, it was an even bigger loss for the Clippers. They, they won this series, and then they just gave it away. Wow.